In this edition of ICIT Fellow Insights, we'll speak with Travis Farrell, an ICIT Fellow and Director of Security Strategy at Anomaly, on how threat intelligence continues to mature, not only in the industry itself, but in organizations and the typical defense stack. I'm Travis Farrell, Director of Security Strategy for Anomaly. You know, I think we, we're finally kind of getting past the, I have, you know, a, a list of, of IP addresses or domains coming in, and so I've got threat intelligence. Yeah. Uh, we're finally seeing organizations like start to actually figure out what's the context around this information and what can I do with it? Is there, you know, what's, what's of interest in this, uh, you know, IP address or domain name or URL or whatever it is that, that is of interest to my organization? Um, I think there's still obviously maturity to go yet uh, in, in the space of threat intelligence, but it is nice to see and, and talk to organizations that aren't just bringing in threat feeds and saying, hey, we've got this threat intelligence thing wrapped up. Well, you know, I think organizations first started bringing in, you know, threat feeds and, you know, probably quickly realized that this is a lot of data, you know, as, as the amount of the, the data in the feeds started to increase. And so you've seen a number of technologies uh, come out to, to try to address these problems. Uh, things like you know, threat intelligence platforms that really kind of manage these indicators, make sure that they get you know, uh, prioritized and, and deduped and all that kind of stuff. And then blend it in with their regular infrastructure, you know, the, the endpoint products, the perimeter products, things like that. Uh, which, which helps folks get more use out of, out of these things and they start to see value. Uh, so so uh, the industry itself uh, around threat intelligence has certainly started to provide some of these answers, but even traditional uh, threat you know, uh, security products are now baking in uh, support for things like uh, threat intelligence feeds or their own intelligence that's inside the product. Well, the first and foremost, it's that, you know, I can just go pay for an intel provider and now I'm doing threat intelligence. Um, intelligence is really getting meaning from the information that they have. And I, I'm a big fan of, you know, people really need to start doing threat intelligence with their internal data first. Uh, so they need to have an understanding of, you know, who are the adversaries that I'm dealing with, whether or not they have a name to it or not, they should start to get a, an idea as they're dealing with their instant response work and, and things that are happening within their environments and seeing the attacks to start uh, understanding more about how people are coming after them, what tools, what techniques they're using, and at least starting to you know, have some kind of a sense of, of who these actors are. Um, organizations that don't do that, I think, are struggling. And one of the biggest problems there is, is really just a, a skills gap. You know, it's, uh, Intel is, a, is kind of a, an interesting animal. It's not really an IT thing. It, it's kind of a, this nebulous, you know, uh, thing that's, that's not necessarily related to, uh, you know, security or, or IT. Uh, so, you, you know, finding the right skill sets and the right minds to kind of uh, come in and, and be able to extract meaning from this information, which is really what threat intelligence is, is, is a huge challenge for folks right now. It's a really good question. Uh, the, I, you know, I have a big passion for trying to, you know, help organizations kind of overcome some of these challenges. Um, so we try to publish white papers that, you know, aren't full of just marketing speak, but actually full of, you know, good solid information to help them on a particular subject. Um, we, we try to back those up with webinars and, and you, know, sp you know, speaking engagements on those topics as well. Uh, just to try to engage uh, with people who are interested in threat intelligence and hopefully provide them with some resources that they can use to, uh, you know, uh, help to expand their knowledge and, and deliver better value in, in the world of threat intelligence. Well, I, I love, uh, honestly, the, the idea of what ICIT stands for and the way that it's, it's engaging uh, community leaders, uh, you know, in, both in the, in the private and the public sector. Um, it's, it's, it's really about getting, you know, really solid information and, and content and getting it into the hands of people that can really use it. And so I, I wholeheartedly appreciate that. And I think for Anomaly, it shows that we have, you know, an interest in, you know, not just selling our products, but really trying to engage with the community at large and uh, really just, you know, use the expertise that we have in-house to, to try to, you know, contribute to this type of stuff.